WD18 Northford fans channel here for some um, match reaction to yesterday's game. It finished. We all know how it finished. Everything. I think almost everyone knows. Uh, after Watford's eight nil defeat. Yes, I said that right. Eight nil defeat to Manchester City uh, in a game that City were just utterly dominant in from the very first minute. Uh, five nil up inside eighteen minutes, uh, adding three goals in the second half. Uh, imperious performances like Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, um, this pick of the bunch. Uh, but, you know, we, we made it easy for them, didn't we? Uh, there's no no defending, no semblance of defence, no semblance of any fight, no semblance of any um, devoid of any passion. Just nous in general, really. Um, fair play to anyone who travels, fair play to anyone who actually stayed and watched that full 90 minutes. Um, uh, that's maybe the only thing I'm really am grateful of this weekend. That actually, I wasn't there um, because I'd be a fuck so angrier than I am now. Um, not so much anger. It's just, I just think it's a bit of a disappointment, really. It's a case of where do we go now? Where do we get our first win from? Um, it's got to start, obviously, next week. Uh, Wolves away is a huge game for us. Of course, they picked up a late goal today and equalised against Palace. They haven't still, still haven't won a game yet this season. So, you know... We thought things would be looking up when we got the draw against Arsenal. Perhaps in hindsight, looking back at those highlights, we maybe should have won that game. But uh, today came up against the f yesterday, sorry, came up against the far superior side to us, um, and a real bump back down to earth again for Flores. I think he all, all of a sudden realised actually just how poor his defence were. Um, the reason why I think the Arsenal game was different is because let's be brutally honest, Arsenal gifted us away back into that game. Um, and once they gave us that goal back again, we all, all we had to do was put them under pressure and get a goal, and we did that. Um, and as I say, should have won it at the end, given the chances that we created. But against City, we didn't do that. We didn't create any chances. I think we had about I think it was about four or five shots on target, I think, in total. Dela Fey, I think, were the best one. Um, we, we went one-on-one, -on -one, managed to get the beating of Otamendi, I think, in the, within that, the first, I think, I think. I think it's definitely within the first 10 minutes of the game. Never know um, if he scores that one. When it's only 1-0 to City, you know, it's a different... It could be a different result, but um, a different result by way of the actual scoreline for City. I don't think we would have gone on and done anything um, other than that. Um, came up against a far, far superior team. Um, not much else to really say about it, you know. I think we could all go on and say, you know, the defence is poor, but we but we know that already. We've known that for so many seasons now. We've got a championship quality defence. Um, and the bottom line is in the Premier League, if you don't have a defence, if you can't defend, you are going nowhere fast. Um, and the only way we are going is down. Um, it is it is just as simple as that. The defending is simply not good enough. And the good news about the game against City is we don't have to go back to the Etihad. Um, the also bit of good news is that our last home game of the season is actually against City. So hopefully we sort things out by then. Um, we can happily take a pasting at Vicarage Road with... You know, the season kind of done, really. But um, the next couple of matches in particular, I think, are really big for us. Wolves away, of course, next Saturday and the weekend after that. It's a big it's a back to the Vic. Take on Sheffield United. And again, two games that are not going to be easy. You know, you look at Sheffield United yesterday, beating Everton 2-0. They'd be confident of coming to the Vic and trying to pick something up there. Um, where do we go from here? As I say... Uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know because I say and I talk about getting points from the next couple of matches. I'm not particularly confident about the Wolves going to all be out that game. Um, but I'm not. I'm not particularly confident. I'm not particularly sure uh, whether or not we are going to get the points there. Um, really, as I say, Wolves haven't won yet. They're going to want to win the game, and we need the points. And we need to win the game. So chances are we'll probably all settle for a draw. Um. I really am going to leave that there because I just I just don't really want to talk about what happened yesterday. Uh, poor defensively. Um, expected to lose to City, but not in the manner in which we did. It was embarrassing. It was pathetic from all angles. Our defending is atrocious. And the club really should go off and refund every single man, um, woman and child who made that journey up there. It was disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Alan Shearer called it as much as well on Match of the Day last night. It was a terrible performance. We need to bounce back, but psychologically, you know, fans say we suffered at the start of this season from what happened at the end of last season. Yeah, at the end of last season, we got a pasting by City in the cup final. Yesterday, we went two worse and actually conceded two more goals against City. Um, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Um, 
Plenty to pick themselves up because unlike the cup final, that wasn't you know the cup final was the last game of the season. Um, this wasn't the last game of the season. We're still early doors. Some people are saying in the season. I don't think we are that early doors anymore. I think we're the Premier League is now starting to really pick up. Um, you know, very very soon we're going to be in the Christmas period and well we just pick up the form. Um, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all at Wolves next week.